I have some great content for you guys today. Just some A-plus comedy. Just some great things that I think they'll make you laugh. Made me laugh so much, I actually started crying. It was so funny. My hair is down, that's so different. It's so different, right? My lips are chapped, don't zoom in on them. D stop, stop, don't do it. So anyways, today I have found some comedic geniuses. I actually saw a couple of videos like this before talking about Instagram comedy, and a lot of people seem to hate it, and I hate it. I'm actually gonna be remaking some of these really terrible Instagram skits. I actually never seen like a lot of these people's content, and I don't know who they are at all. One thing I can't stand is mint chapstick. It burns my lips. I don't know if that's just because I'm a or if it's just because I'm a p the one page that I've seen before is I am Steven Spence. I just wanted to take a couple of his Instagram videos to show you how stupid this stuff is. I keep saying the word stupid. I want you to challenge yourself to not laugh or smile. Have no expression. I want to see if you can actually do it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh no, I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just kidding. Oh. It's only the girl. You know, it's not sexual. I swear, bro. I swear on I swear on your life, mother body. <laughs> the the cheese. What what are you what? Okay, you wanna get a little bit of wine and cheese? A little wine and cheese? We're gonna do it. Okay. First thing, you gotta get the wine. You gotta pour the wine into the mother body. You gotta get samba, like a jamba, like a bamba, like a jamba, like a jamba, like a samba, like a jamba. Yes, this is just, it's just great. I love it. It's so, is that Kevin Hart? <laughs> oh my God. The reoccurring theme that I've seen throughout Instagram comedy though is always like a woman's butt. And I, I don't understand that. I'm gonna take this one right here. I'm gonna reenact it. And you have to tell me which version is actually funnier because I think this, his might be a lot funnier than mine. So. This is not working. Take off your shirt. And give it to me. Boobs. Nice. Ah. Uh. Well, I love it! Perfection. <laughs> Do you get it? He blended it. That was a good one. I just love it. But check out mine. Amanda, this is beautiful, but lose the shirt. Give that to me. I love it. Um, <clears throat> um, so this one right here, why do I have a raging double chin? Like I'm not even, just forget it. So if you guys don't know King Batch, Batch, King Batch, Batch. So this one is really, really relatable. It used to happen to me all the time when I was in school and stuff. You know, if I was in school, I would have made this video because it's really relatable during that period of time. But, you know, now that I'm older and I'm not, I don't really have to go through this. I don't think I would make this video, but I'm going to remake this one anyways, too. By the way, it's called When It's Your Turn to Read in Class. Just going to Google his age really quick. I just want to know, like, the time frame. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's, I didn't know he was 30. Okay, 29. Not 30 yet, but 29. I didn't, I wasn't aware of that one. So this does happen when you're 29 as well, I guess. Everyone read a sentence and then pass it down. Yes. God, please teach me how to read right now. Your turn. I got it. Um. Oh. Apple. A a apple. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and leave that job out. Please, God, show me how to read. The. 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 This is one that I've seen very recently. Look at that. Yup, that's English. This is one that I've seen very recently. I don't know who this kid is. Never heard of him until like yesterday. I'm gonna let this one speak for itself. Hey, but that's my phone. Can you call it? Sure, baby. Call Jamie. Which Jamie? You told me I was the only Jamie you knew. No, 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 no. Trust me. It's just like an old friend. I don't even know why she's in my phone. Watch this though. Watch this. Call my girlfriend. I feel special. You have two phone numbers for contacts named my girlfriend. Which one should I use? Baby, I can explain. But let's see my version of it. Let's see. I think mine's better. 
Mine's better. Babe, can you call my phone? I lost it. Of course. Call Amanda. Which Amanda? You talk to another woman named Amanda? Hold on, I'll get it this time. Call my girlfriend. Which girlfriend? Huh? What did I tell you? Pretty sure this guy is from Vine. I've seen a couple of his videos before actually, but this one stood out to me. This was probably the worst one that I saw. Like the least funny and the most degrading. I actually have no words for that. Like, I'm trying to think of something to say, and it's just not coming to my mind because I feel like it's so f up. Like, it's actually not funny. It's kind of a little bit, like, not, it's not nice to women, in my opinion. I don't think girls ever do that. Maybe prostitutes, though. Like, a prostitute would, but... So I found this girl, and I have no idea who she is. She's actually someone that I've literally never heard of in my life. This is the first one I saw. I clicked on it because of the guy's leg. I'm gonna be honest, like, the leg got me. And it's captioned, there's a fine line between cuddling and suffocating. Now, I have a girlfriend and we cuddle, you know, but I've never been suffocated by her leg. Um, not just one, at least. That was, that was a bad joke. Did they just edit in the peeing? I actually did hear that the first time. What the f was that? What? Damn it, I hate it when that happens. Now this is the last one and it's an ad, but I just wanted to show you this one line because I thought it was really stupid. We have the sexy girl as always, always have to have her. I feel like there could have been a million other ways to do this ad instead of asking the question, should we use a condom? I know it's not that deep, but like, should we use a condom? Huh, let me think about that for a second. Maybe it'll be all right. Maybe we should try it. It'll be fine. Nothing will happen. Then they think about having a kid and how terrible apparently that is. And then they say, no, yeah, we'll definitely use one. But there's like multiple other reasons you should use one. But I'm not a sex ed teacher, so I'll just shut up about it. Maybe I'm too offended. Maybe I shouldn't be on the internet. So anyways, guys, that is my criticism for today. Like I said, I wanted to be creative. I had a lot of fun filming my own little skits <laughs> and they were better. They were really good, right? I should, I'm gonna start posting Instagram comedy actually. Anyways guys, if you did like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. By the way, I'm selling merch. It looks like this. I don't think I ever told you guys that yet. Um, it says growth right here and it has a bunch of flowers because that word means a lot to me. Leave me a comment and tell me which one of those videos you thought was the worst or if I'm a total asshole and I should not be talking about these people's videos ever and that my sense of humor is terrible. You can do either one. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Peace. I'm putting this clip of me shirtless at the end because I just want to see how many people actually watch until the very end. So every time that I do make a new video now, I'm gonna just put me shirtless at the end. So you have to watch the entire thing through. Or you could just skip to the end if you're really that thirsty about it. Or if you don't care, you just won't watch it. So, okay.